Hey, what's up everyone? Jeremy here. So I wanted to break down hexadecimal color codes. So what is a hexadecimal color code? If you've ever even heard this, I'm sure if you've done any kind of web development, web design, you know what a hexadecimal color code is. And don't mix this up with an RGB color code, which stands for red, green, blue. It's based on the values of these three colors. Don't mix those two up. So a hexadecimal color code is what computers use to specify a website's color. So instead of being limited to the names of colors such as red, blue, green, and so on, you can realize that there's a pretty quick cap to the naming conventions that are realistic that you can use for these. You know, eventually you just get to, you know, red, green, blue, you name the basics, and then you get to names that people don't even recognize. You know, what are you going to say, like reddish blue, red one, red two, red three, it's just silly. So there's many ways you could do this. My favorite way and the way that we've all adopted to do this is this hexadecimal color code fashion. Now. This cap with the naming convention of these colors like red, green, and blue would run out pretty quick. But believe it or not, if you use hexadecimal color codes, you can have a range of colors with 16,777,216 choices to choose from. Yeah, it's a lot. It's every conceivable color that you would even care to use. So how would we actually use these if we wanted to maybe change the color of something on our website or, you know, do whatever? Let's let's just use my website as an example and go to one of my pages and find the title. So this right here, tips for search engine optimization, it's black right now. So as I already mentioned, you can change the code of your website to kind of test things out. And that's what we're going to do right now. And let's say I want to change this to some weird shade of green that would not render if I just typed green into our HTML document. And then we can change the color of it to the specific shade of green that we wouldn't be able to get if we just typed in green. So let's first type in green, actually. And you see it gets this shade of green. But if we wanted, let's say, uh, da, 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 maybe a really bright green or something, you know, so that's the code you were going to need. This is the hexadecimal color code that you would need to display this exact kind of green. And this is the RGB red, green, blue value that I am not going to explain right now. Really, they're mainly used for um, photo editors and you know Photoshop and different things like that. So anyways, let's get back into our editor and we'll copy and paste that code exactly how it is. And you notice it immediately changed to this really bright green. So we can't obtain this any other way unless we specify this exact color through a method like this. So let me emphasize that the big benefit of a hexadecimal color code is it allows you to specify a, a color that you would not be able to obtain otherwise. Okay, if you just use, you know, the name green. Okay, so let's go back to the w3schools.com website that I mentioned and this is a really good site. It gives you a lot of it's a lot of information if you're just starting out, but it also has some good tools if you're trying to do something specific. So let me break down this hexadecimal color code for you. We have this right here. It's number sign 03FF00. And this is that green we just applied. So you notice the number is preceded by a pound sign. Uh, if you're in the UK, this might piss you off me saying that. So it's called a hash or a number sign over there. But after the number sign, follow with the six digit alphanumeric code. Sometimes it's just numeric. Sometimes it's just alphabetic. However, um, I will tell you this little secret. Let's say if I wanted white, which would be F, 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 oh, excuse me, one extra F. Let's go back one. All right. So that's six Fs to get white. Now, if I wanted black, I could do six ones. But the cool thing about any color code that has six duplicate numbers or letters, you can actually just cut this in half and you'll still render the same thing. So if we wanted to do whatever color this would be, which would be this darker gray, we could just do three Ds and it would still render the exact same thing. Or for white, we can just use FFF and it'll still render the exact same white. It's a little shortcut and a lot of browsers cut off this extra information anyway. I just wanted to break that down so it doesn't throw you off if you see a three digit hexadecimal color code and you're like, uh, is this not even hexadecimal? What's going on here? So anyways, that's a hexadecimal color code and how you can utilize them. Don't let them intimidate you. They're not that confusing at all. 
and you'll eventually start even memorizing some of the ones you use a lot. So yeah, that's about it on hexadecimal color codes. Uh, you know, thanks for watching, you guys. Please subscribe. I appreciate it. Feel free to leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next video.